What's good everybody? Today's video, we are going to show you how to take dents out of your refrigerator door panel or your dishwasher. Stay tuned for the whole video. So we just picked this dishwasher up and uh, already made tiny little dents. And it's kind of hard to see normally, but they are right over here. There's about three of them, little tiny ones. Right there, kind of. So we got this kit here from Amazon. It's a dent pulling kit. It will work on cars, refrigerators, dishwashers. Initially, we tried using the old heat gun um, hair dryer technique. So you basically blow on that. Um, and then for smaller um, dents, it would just plop out. That didn't work out. So we figured let's keep going. So this particular kit has absolutely everything, including a glue gun, glue sticks, and the actual dent puller itself. And this little hammer as well, as well as these plastic taps with different ends on them, right? So that way you can pretty much push something in if you pulled it out too much. So there are four of them, different thicknesses, different roundness, right? Very fine ones. And then you would essentially use this a little rubber mallet to hit on it like that bit by bit by bit trying to get everything in you also have a spray bottle a cloth to wipe something and then you have these so I actually saw a video online and it worked for whoever did it so this is why I ordered pretty much the same kit now, when you are pulling it, the way it is, is you're gonna attach one of these things, essentially, like this, and then this is gonna go against it, and then you see how you're pulling it, like that. So once this is against it, we're essentially gonna use suction to pull this back. And you're gonna go very little, you don't wanna be doing any of that, you're just gonna go very little, and you're gonna keep testing it. So this is why they have all these different types of bits for different sizes. Right, and then this is made of plastic. Plastic. The manual shows you different types of repair kits that you can use as well. So let's go through this. So here's everything in the kit. Okay, so you have your um, dead puller, which works like this. You've got your blue glue tab. Now the glue gun is used to apply glue to this. And then you place this in the center of where the hole is. So for example, right here. And then when this is attached to the pulling tool, right? The glue is gonna be here and then it's gonna basically just pull it back. Then you're gonna use this to remove the hot glue from the door without leaving any marks or scratches. Okay, so they again, they gave you different sizes. So let's go in and get started. First, we're gonna mark out where exactly the, um, the hole is. All right, so you guys can see there, and there, those are the two big ones. But it's really three. There's like one, two, and then there's three, four. So let's go and circle this. First, we're gonna do about here, and then we got one here. So now that we've marked that out with a marker, so let's go set that up. All right, so we've marked out with a circle where the dents are and their approximate size. We're gonna grab our glue gun. We're gonna grab black or yellow glue stick. Right, that's in. Once we apply this, we want to very quickly place this on the center of the circle. Got it? All right, so let's go and apply the glue. Be generous. All right, so there is all our black glue. And then we quickly place this right here, like a big blob. We don't want to press it, we just want to place it on the center. I want to make sure we have enough glue. We're going to go two at a time then. We can unplug this, put this on the side, and now it's time for the machine. All right, so now once these two are on, grab your pull tool. You want to make sure that these two rubber parts are here. You can move these back and forth. This, you can pull back by doing it this way. And then once you are happy, you place it. This hook is going to get hooked on this piece of plastic like that you see so now it's gonna sit the next step is to make sure that this and this is tight against that 
because when you're pulling this, you wanna make sure that this is nice and tight and it's actually pulling it. You see how I'm doing this and it's not actually pulling it? So if that happens, turn it this way, and then that's gonna make things closer to the panel. You see that? So now it's basically on here. So now when I do a slight pull, it's already pulling it. You see that? So then you just keep doing that. Not too hard. You don't want to go all the way in because you're going to pop the steel out. And this is very, very thin, um, this material on the, on the uh, dishwasher and fridges. So just do this a couple times, maybe 40, 50 times. And then we're going to remove this and the glue, and we're going to see how it worked. And while we're here, we're gonna go and do this on the second one as well. Okay. And let's keep doing on the bottom one now. All right, now let's take this off. So to take this off, you can just use this, but we're gonna go and heat this up with a hair dryer to soften the glue, and then we're gonna scrape this off. Okay, so now once I'm here, you want to make sure you also remove this from these plastic pieces so you can reuse it if you need to. Now it does feel a little bit like rubber, right? So, but it will remove itself quite easily eventually. There you go. Pretty much most of it is done. And this is what it comes out like. So now you can see that your, obviously your dishwasher looks all mangled up. So we're going to clean this right now and we're going to see if we ended up getting out any of then, and if not, then we know that we're gonna have to repeat the process a couple times. So now we just gotta clean this adhesive and we're gonna see if the dents are gone. There should only be really one. All right, so we're done and it looks, it's not done, but it looks about 80 to 90% better. You see that? You still got that little tiny one right there. So I still gotta get that one out, but all together, the hardest part is actually cleaning the residue. So there's a couple of tips I'm gonna give you. One, use mayonnaise on the adhesive. So we basically put a little bit of this and we rubbed it on the panel. We let that soak for about 30 minutes and then we just wipe that off. Way better than rubbing alcohol or anything else. And then after that, we add a little spray of the rubbing alcohol and then it came right off. So that's my suggestion of cleaning. Um, does this work? Absolutely it works, 100%. So it just takes a little bit of time. Now in terms of how many of these pulls we've done, I probably say for each hole I did maybe 110 of like little quick ones like this. Um, but it, it is gonna take you a couple of tries, but definitely beats spending $600 to replace the panel. So that's the video, thanks for watching. I hope it helped.